The history of mobile phones. This is the first ever mobile phone to be launched by Motorola in 1984 known as Dynatac. It weighed over a kilogram and was affectionately known as the brick. It quickly became a must-have accessories for wealthy financiers and entrepreneurs. With the first prototype device, you got 30 minutes of talk time. It took around 10 hours to charge and store 30 phone numbers, costing 4,000 US dollars or equivalent to $10,000 in today's money. It was basically a Motorola monopoly for at least 10 years or so. And it struck again. The first smash hit clamshell phone was introduced in 1996. The StarTac replaced by Dynatac's towering antenna with a thin wire whip that could be pushed into the body of the handset. Then entered the bad boy era of phones. Nokia entered the market to revolutionize things. They started off in 1997 with Nokia 6110. Features were three games. It had memory, snakes and logic, calculator, clock and calendar, currency converter. We worked as a pager, profile setting and four colors. Then Nokia started to show Motorola that the competition was necessary. So Nokia introduced 8110 in 1999. This handset was designed by fashion house Kenzo and was one of the first cell phones to hide the antenna entirely within the body. In 1999, the BlackBerry 850 was the first handset to be released under BlackBerry brand. 10 years later, RIM would be crowned the fastest growing company on the planet. Remember BBM people? Maybe you're too young. This is my favorite. In 2000, Nokia released 3300, perhaps the greatest phone ever made. If you're from the 90s, you would recognize this phone. Everyone had it in the schools and everywhere else. Even in 2013, this was voted as one of the greatest mobile devices ever created. Some called it indestructible. Then in 2000, Samsung released that, SGA's whatever that is. Before Samsung took over the world, it used to make handsets like these. This was the first phone ever to use a thin film transistor active matrix LCD display. In 2003, BlackBerry 5810. It didn't have a built-in speaker, so you had to plug in the headphones to make a phone call, but the handset had the email capability and a standard keyboard. In 2004, Motorola Razr V3 was introduced. Motorola shifted over 130 million of this fashion phone between the years of 2004 and 6, making it the best-selling clamshell handset in history. 2006, Nokia N95 were introduced. True smartphone that ran on Symbian, packed with crazy tech, crazy amount of CPU space, and featured 160 MB of RAM. It also featured a decent 5 megapixel camera, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. You know what, I still remember watching Spider-Man on that device. 2007 was LG Shine, and then came the bad, bad, bad boy of the phone. In 2008, Apple released iPhone 3G. Well, we all know what happened after that. RIP to Steve Jobs and all the other companies around the world. Not Apple fanboy, but they have revolutionized the, the modern tech. 